Cheers. Are you rolling? Rolling. Rolling. Last one's left on the island. Yeah. Um. <sighs> right, this is the, um, the last podcast from Tyree this year. Apologies for not getting one out sooner. I did promise like every day that it hasn't really worked out. Been doing a bit of socialising, which has been good. Um, yeah, I don't know where to start. The double, or no, the since the last pod we did all the all the single elimination up to the final, and then I had the final against Ben, which was on I can't remember what day it was now. <laughs> no, no idea. What day is it today? Sunday. I think it was Wednesday or th- Thursday. Yeah. Thursday. Uh, Wednesday. 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 Tuesday or Wednesday. It's been a few days anyway. But uh, yeah, that day was ended up being a really good day. Um, so we got there sort of in the morning. Is that door just open by itself? I think it's the wind. So close up. <laughs> while, um, while Lucas is cl- closes the door, we're in a... Uh, uh, essentially a hurricane we've got the Met office was saying like 75 knots um thinking around that and i think we were we did a little drive to stand at the top of the hill and i think it was like 100 mile an hour at the top of the hill like it was bonkers that was probably the windiest that's the windiest of, yeah be, uh, windiest i've ever been in yeah yeah we were yeah you know when you're kind of leaning against the wind on those windy days but yeah. it was like that on another level. Oh, geez, you couldn't stand in it. You couldn't. And sometimes it would it. actually blow you back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When you got hit by a mega gust, you were like leaning so f- close to the ground. You're thinking, if this gets any stronger, I'm gonna need to like hold onto some grass here to <laughs> not lift off. Like it was. It was silly. Full power. It was silly. So silly. yeah, no ferries today. No ferries. So, and a door that's opening and closing by itself. Yeah, yeah. No, it's windy. So oh, yeah. we're hopefully gonna get on the ferry tomorrow. Yeah. But um, yeah, sometimes that is the reality of Tyree and these islands, like, you can get stuck. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah. But that's why we're here, you know, the storms, the remoteness. Yeah. The remoteness really is the cool thing. Yeah, it's cool. Obviously, it's a double edged yeah. Tyree sword. So, we did have a few people because we, we did finish the whole competition, you know, two or three days early. Um, we did have quite a few people leave early. Um, Finn and Julius went back to Ireland. Um, yeah, there was quite a few people, and then yesterday they put on two ferries so that a few more people could get off the island. But, um, yeah, annoyingly, we didn't quite get on. No, cute. But uh, no, it's still a really sick week, wasn't it? Really good. Really good week. Um, really good. But yeah, that, uh, I'm trying to think what was saying. Yeah, the, the, the kind of last day of the competition, which was at the maze again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Another day at the maze. Probably. Didn't start too good. It was the waves were quite small when we got there, mm. and uh, there was a little bit of a night anticlimax in that sense. That yeah, a bit low tide as well. Yeah, so. it was low tide. It was kind of small waves. Uh, it was windy enough though. It was. Yeah, it was good. I was on four five and four zero in my heat. Mm. I was on four zero, so my heat was when it started to get a little bit windier. Yeah, like even windier. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I was on four zero. Yeah, but it was still quite low and Tyree. Um, I think this is kind of conjecture, but I feel like it's surrounded by enough little rocky outcrops that when it hits low, it tends all the waves tend to get small, yeah. and if they get like stuck or something, yeah. and uh, and they're all a bit bowlier as well. So like smaller yeah. and bowlier is yeah. generally low tide. Yeah, that, on that, most beaches. I, I would agree with that for sure. And when it starts coming in, it always gets good. Yeah. Um, so we had yeah some not amazing conditions, but it was kind of side shore, maybe a little bit side off. Mm. Um, and yeah, the sort of earlier on they did the final with me and Ben, which was actually really good. To we spoke about it on the last one, but it was good to see like different people, younger guys coming up and pushing the kind of uh, yeah the yeah the I don't want to say old guys, but the older guys who've been <laughs> doing it a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, yeah, <laughs> but. Um, so I, I was I was just really nice to sail with him because yeah. I sailed quite a bit with him in Cornwall and stuff, but yeah. never in a competition. No, it's a good thing about Tyree as well, right? So given that it's a week um, and you almost always do a single and a double, I mean, mm. some years we've done a triple as well, but it means that you 
just by chance being here in October, you get big jump, you get good jumping days, strong wind, mm -hmm. and you get down the line days, and it, it like shuffles those guys up, people yeah. like Ben. Yeah. Uh, right. Obviously, Ben's done very well in jumping as well before, but like, yes, yeah. And you know, I think he'd say he's definitely a, a wave rider. Is his, yeah, is yeah. his core, isn't it? And yeah, and he's got a very like dynamic kind of yeah style, isn't it? Yeah, Ben. Like, quite like um Keith Tabor. Keith Tabor, I would like. I don't know, I, I feel like there's a bit of similarity there. Like quite quite dynamic, up and down, mm. S like snappy. Yeah, yeah. Rail, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that was um, that was a good final pop, but like I think we both agreed it was a bit like, I don't know, I came off the water, I was like, oh, I don't think I had the best one, and he said the same as well, I don't know. So it wasn't like we were both like, you know, like ripping and like it was like really cool to mm. watch or anything. And then they kind of announced it. it was, oh, you won! It was all a bit like, oh yeah, okay. Like you know, it didn't feel that, it didn't feel that um, amazing at the time, just because I think the nature of the conditions we had. Mm. Um, and yeah, as I said, it was very much just like you made the most of the shit mm. conditions. Um, it looked good like most of the way up the ladder though, when it got bigger. Or was that after? So, oh, you're so, on about the single yeah, final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was earlier. So that was in, in the morning that mm. day. Mm. And then after that, we went into the, straight into the double pretty much, didn't we? Yeah. And I think the condition just got better and better, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It looked know. really good for late art. Yeah, yeah. How did you get on in the double? In the double, I... Um, was the, it fun? A, well, yeah, it was fun. So the wind was just picking up and up and up. Um, just before, so I rigged a 4.8, went out, did a few rounds, because mm -hmm. in the morning it was floating ride, mm. um, did a few rounds, got a few waves, and then it picked up a bunch, and I was like, oh, maybe 4.4, four. so put, quickly rigged that, well, I think I had that one rigged, mm -hmm. but quick, put that one on, did a few runs, and I was like, oh, now I'm really top end on this, and so I rigged a 4.0 and went out on that, but really should have gone down a board as well, Yeah, like, I was on bigger board and I was stacked and it was still a little bit bouncy and I was just, I was struggling a little bit to be fair yeah. with power, which is my own fault for not being prepared enough. But, um, mm -hmm. And also I think, so I didn't get through that heat, but um, you know, Julius and uh, Hannes that went through yeah. were shredding. Yeah. Like they were shredding. Really Hannes awesome. actually went on a bit of a roll in the yeah. bubble, didn't he? Because um, he's one of the German guys that came yeah. over. Like most years, we have a lot, a few, like international guys coming. Mm. Mm. So um, we had uh, Hannes from, and Arthur from Germany, and uh, we had uh, matey boy. What's his name? Valter. <laughs> Valter. Yeah. From Latvia. So that was good, but um, I think it's fair to say they starb attack isn't their favourable. So I think in the double they were like yeah hungry. They were, they were a little bit, you know, ripping actually. Yeah, they were. Um, so he did well. Trying to think if if there's any other like big, um, or some or someone who did was dripping quite well that day. Rory did. I mean, I know. I think he did a podcast after the single where he's yes. already really high. But I mean, Rory first like highest he's been. I think. Yeah. Like, that was. Cool. Yeah, yeah. He was saying good. I think he was a bit slightly disappointed that he. I think he dropped down one because Bubble yeah. beat him, so he ended up in fifth. But I think he's still pretty happy with the overall. But. Uh, yeah, I'm sure like he's only gonna get better now. Yeah. And uh, oh, Finn, I have to mention Finn. I know he had it. Really disappointed with the single, the double. I was like, you know, there's a few people. Mm -hmm. I think he could go all the way here. Yeah. And uh, he was doing some probably one of the best wave rides of the of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you've seen pictures and videos, he was doing sailing really well. I think he went up against Bubble, mm -hmm. and they had. He put the jumps jumped. in, yeah. and bubble, um, yeah, bubble uh, sneak through. I think Finn, Finn would say himself was isn't the strongest jumper, so yeah, you know. I think if it was like a foot or two bigger, then that's like Finn, or actually to be fair, maybe a little bit bigger than that. But like then that's when Finn just like prime, yeah, yeah prime conditions. Prime time. So yeah, but no, it was um, it was good to watch. There was lots of it was super high level like this year, like. We got Finn coming over. We got, you know, just everyone that's I think just stepped up as well. Mm. Um, like few few people coming over to do it that don't normally do it, but also just uh, 
everyone seems to be getting better. So yeah. it just felt really, it did feel harder this year than last year for some reason for me. Mm. I don't know about you. But the fleet yeah. seemed, seemed really strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think, I mean, we're obviously at slightly different ends of the of the fleet, but I think, I think, yeah, my end of the fleet's got fire as well. Yeah. yeah everyone. Um, which is good. I know, yeah, I think it's really good. I think it shows everyone's been most up and loads, everyone's been really hungry. Mm. The events make you hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They make you really keen to like, Yeah. they really fire you up. Yeah. That does. I think is probably one of the best things about them. Yeah. Um, so that pushes everyone on and I guess that ripples up to you at the top. Yeah, definitely. And like that, like a, well, I think through that double, I was just hoping that someone would like take down Phil. <laughs> Because uh, not only was obviously oh, wanted to tie, but win Tyree if just yeah. obviously for for that event, but there was the British tour um, on the line as well. So I was kind of hoping that someone, you know, was going to come through like really sailing well, like someone like Finn or I don't know Bubble. Um, so that would have meant that if he went down to fourth, then that would have made it a lot easier for me. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, Phil was sailing pretty well. Mm. I think he there was quite a nice one of him doing like a tweet tear and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so mm. Coxie's another guy that could do that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what happened to Coxie. I can't remember now. But I didn't. I don't know. He didn't really come to have like a big comeback or anything, did he? No. Um, so I think yeah. If we can, if the double was on the single first single day. Yeah. Different story, a totally different story altogether. Different story, yeah. But mm. yeah, I was hoping someone would come through, but in the end, the FA was doing well. And but what was good was to see Ben kind of defend his spot in second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that was that was cool to see, just mm. like yeah, put a mark. Like yeah. you know, when you sometimes you beat someone in the single, and it's like, oh, I don't know if that was like a fluke or not. Mm. And then, but if you beat them again, you're like, that's, that's yeah, like yeah, yeah. proper. Yeah, that's it. So that was really cool. And obviously to have another final with Ben. Yeah. It was mega. Yeah. Um, he beat me in the first one. So I was a bit scared after that. I was like, shit. Mm. Um, I feel like you can get a bit relaxed in that situation when you got mm. like um, almost like a backup. Yeah. When you got a final and a super final. Yeah. So yeah, I don't, I don't know if you were watching that at all. That final. The uh, single one. Yeah, the no, no, the no, double no, elimination the double. final. Um, Not the yes. Final. Yeah. 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 Because from what I heard, Ben was just seemed to be picking off all the waves and yeah. just coming to him. Yeah. 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 Um, and uh, and yeah, didn't seem to find the best waves myself. Um, and yeah, decided to change equipment a little bit, little bit pick like a different board. Mm. What were you using? I was originally on a, a 73, like a thruster. Mm -hmm. And then I changed to a 69 quad. So slightly smaller and, Slight. and, and a quad, which for me, like my thinking was that on the first seat, it was, the board was feeling a little bit too, um, Flight. like unstable, yeah. like a little bit like unstable because it was the waves were get were a bit bigger in the morning and also it's still kind of choppy mm. so like every time i bottom turned if there was a big chop it mm. would throw me off a little bit more mm. so the quad really helped to just stick the board down and like mm. cut through the chop instead that's cool how similar are those two boards in shape other than the fins is uh, it totally different i would say this this similar things about it but i think um there's like obviously it being a quad is, makes quite a big difference mm. and like the nose is like it's a little bit it feels like the outline is a little bit more like streamlined like surfboardy shape mm. while the thruster's got a bit of a wider sort mm. of nose and outline so it definitely is better for those I would say weaker conditions with mm. like south coast type stuff um, but yeah like that day particularly like for me the quad is always like my go to when it's like mm. when you want control yeah, yeah and that's what I was lacking in the first final yeah um, I was all a bit because it was windy I don't know yeah, yeah I was, was in a 4-0 in the, in the final yeah 
Um, but then again, I didn't want to change down because there was the inside was pretty mm. high tide sketch though. as well, yeah. rocks everywhere and yeah. and light like gusty wind. So you didn't yeah. really want to get stuck down there. I had that in my single heat, my single um, yeah. Heat other than that, because yeah. that was pretty high. Yeah, yeah. And like you, it's actually not not like it's not easy. No, it's really not easy. Like I launched from in front of the judges. Mm. Um, so like not the big rock at the maze, but like the one after it. Yes, yeah, yeah. Launched past that and it's like beach side and it was a bit of all, mm. you know, all the wrap around from the big rock. Yeah. And you kind of pop out after that and you get a bit more power. But when you're coming in and you can have all the power as you're next to the rock and then you go behind it and it all yeah. goes. I and actually sailed over one. I don't know if it was, maybe that first final. Mm. I think I sailed over one. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it just pop up and I just somehow didn't clip the fins or anything, but it was... Yeah. I um, think I've been over most of them at the moment <laughs> over the years. To be yeah, yeah, the maze is tricky, it. tricky. That's and I think for me this year it felt like there was less sand, like there was yeah. more rocks. Yeah, I don't know yeah, yeah, yeah. If that's true or not, but no, I think so. It was very rocky this year. That's mm. what it felt like. So, um, so yeah, definitely wanted a bit of mm. bit of power in the sail. Just going back to those boards, what do you prefer for jumping? Like everything, like all else, even. Um, it, it just goes back to the saying like if it's super windy and I want control mm. like kind of like that poser type style where it's choppy and you, I want something that just sticks down and cuts through mm. so like that quad's better but anything that's yeah anything that I just want a little bit more like the power and like mm. want the ball to like fly a bit more than the yeah. thrusters go to so yeah it's I, yeah I think Tyree as well make, it makes such a big difference in equipment. And as yeah. you said, heat to heat, it changes so yeah. much. Yeah, so like, yeah. the morning I was like, oh yeah, I'll just take take the same mm. ball. But actually, I got out and I was like, this is completely different. Yeah. Um, so, no, it's good. I managed to come in and change the ball and have a, I was like, okay, I think, you know, I think this will work better. And, uh, and then, so yeah, we had to have the super final and I don't know, just as like Ben in the first one maybe got the luck or was in, in tune with the with the waves a little bit, that that super final, like the first wave I caught was like mega set, just came out of nowhere mm. with like a nice lip to hit and I got like a nice air with a few turns and after that wave it was very much like, right, this is like a good start, like, yeah. you know, that feels good. And, uh, it's so important happy. to get something good done straight away, isn't yeah. it? Well, it helps with, with confidence. I know, like, the good people can, or the good competitors can stay yeah. calm even yeah. if they don't do that. But yeah. it, but yeah, yeah, either way. Yeah. I, I did a bit of commentating on the AMS and the Masters on the f uh, Friday. Yeah. And you could see when people go out and just get a loop in straight away. Mm. You can, you can, I, I know the feeling as well, but like, you can see it in them. Yeah. They're just kind of just like, Phew. Okay, right. So good. Got that one bit in, and then they get a wave, especially if they do a loop, like something on the way out, something on the way in, and they're like, okay, right, I've now got like 80% of my heat left mm. to do what I've just done. And it's just like so, yeah, so you, know, you can see it in them. Yeah, almost. I think it's like, it's one of those things when you see people like have a sick start to the heat, mm. like maybe they'll get two jumps in on one run, and then like, you know, do a couple where, you know, they got like, six minutes left to go and you're like wow that, that's like such a good start must be really good yeah. but i think that could easily also happen like at the end of the heat yeah, yeah. so it's like yeah, yeah that's why i think the good people can stay calm and be yeah. like okay he had a good start but i could have like a good end and yeah yeah but yeah as you said it's it, it, anyone anyone like whatever level would feel good after a good start yeah do you try and plan it? Not, I mean, I'm not asking you to give up all of your yeah. <laughs> don't have many. secrets, but do you, do you not like go out, try and get some things in straight away or? If it's jumping, I'll kind of always try and get two jumps in. Like I'll do a jump, come back, do another jump and make sure I've got two jumps. Hmm. And normally, depending on where you are, like how long it takes to do a run, but say if I've done two or three runs and I haven't got anything then I'm just like right, just 
leave that to the side and mm. get to the weight. Like that's kind of what I always do. Um, but uh, yeah, in terms of like, if it's just wave riding like the other day, I don't know. Yes, it's, you're so dependent on what sets come up. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's tricky. Like if there's a good wave, you just got to take it, yeah. haven't you? Yeah, yeah. And uh, I don't know. I I always try and get. I think I always try and like wait a little bit to try and find a good wave at the start. Mm. Then I'll just like get a backup wave. Yeah. And then after that, I can be like, right, I can no. wait all heat yeah. for like the best one yeah. to come in. And that's I think, yeah, that's kind of. Well, the, the super final, I got that way straight away, which was sick. Mm. So then pretty much the rest of the heat, I was like, okay, let's just kind of um, just try and find the good ones. And mm. funny, I don't think I got like one as good as that, but still it was, mm. it, after getting that one, I was like, right, all I need is like a decent score, mm. like hopefully, unless Ben like kills it. Mm. But it's not, you don't have the pressure where like you're trying to find like an excellent way of score. Mm. It's kind of like, I just need like a really you know, solid one and it should be enough. Yeah. So yeah, that was that was good and uh yeah, I don't know how, how Ben got and I think he probably sailed quite well but I think I just lucky that, that it was like kind of a bit of a rogue set came in and Yeah. And uh, sometimes that happens I think. And and also like that set was like all the other ways would because it was quite high tide, it was the lip would just it looked like it was gonna like come, and you'd be like, "Oh, I can get like a good area or something," mm, and it yeah, just like fizzle, and it's yeah. just like. But that one actually stood up, so yeah. was lucky. Um, but yeah, that was that was a that was like a much more, you know, when when you're taking so close to super fun, I felt like that was more. Uh, like it felt a lot better winning yeah. that one in the yeah. in the morning when yeah, it was yeah, just yeah. not very good. Yeah. Like it, it made it more. Don't know. Special, I guess. Yeah, to you win, want to win, to win in good conditions. Yeah, better exactly. conditions. I said you want to win in um, good day. Eh? Yeah. So that was good, and then there was a, a sail off with Phil. Yeah. <laughs> Even more. Yeah. Um, so we were. I came third in Rosie. Phil Horrocks came first in Ross Niger. And uh, at this event, it was like the other way around. So only two events on the calendar. We. We were drawing on points, so um, sail off was needed to mm -hmm. get a winner, which is pretty intense. Like just one heat mm -hmm. to the side, um, side it. But um, yeah, I think it was pretty close in the end. Um, I actually did watch it back, and I don't know. I couldn't really tell the winner either. But. I think if I remember, Phil got some very good waves at the very end. Because I think you yeah. were looking stronger for the first like three quarters. Yeah. And then I think at the end, um, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's judging and, and, and watching are to totally different. Yeah. Because you build up an impression when you're watching. But yeah. when you're judging, it's like the two best. And also I'd say Phil has like, quite a different style for me. Yeah, he so does. In terms yeah, yeah. of judging, it's like... Yeah, even harder, yeah. I feel like it's, yeah. it's tough for them, but... I reckon it was the end, end of the heat. Funny enough, we actually did a longer heat so yeah. than the normal heats that day. Oh, man. <laughs> so if it actually, was. if it was a shorter heat, then I would have probably got it. Oh, <laughs> But um, anyway, just means next year I have to try harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but no, it was, I mean, for me, coming here, the main goal is to, is to win Tyree. And yeah. Anything else is, is you know is a bonus but yeah. uh, just because after Rosie I knew it would be a yeah. tough one yeah because I knew you know to feel to come outside the top three would be pretty yeah, yeah you yeah, know yeah. some some upsets big upsets have to go down so mm. um, so no that was that was kind of it wasn't it yeah um, yeah after that was the last day of the contest and we had a mega one the next morning what was the one the next uh, it was just float and ride um, oh yeah, I was sleeping. You were asleep. We got there. Um, yeah. You were asleep, um, and it was like 
think it would, you'd call it head high, but first thing, there were some, some bigger random ones. Mm -hmm. um, and then it kind of dropped and got more bowly, but like it was cross off. Uh, you'd occasionally play now, which yeah. is like the perfect win for cross off. Definitely, yeah. I think. Um, and yeah, it was really fun. It was good to see um, judges Adrian and Duncan as well, yeah. both shred him. Lukey boy as well. Yeah, and Luke, sorry, yeah, of course. Sorry, Luke. <laughs> But yeah, no, they, that was like a lay day, wasn't it? So yeah. All, everyone went out, all the crew. Yeah, yeah. Um, we'd had maybe three or four days competing. Yeah. Got, got it all done, and then yeah, we yeah. still we still had like three days left. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how I forgot Luke, because Luke got up at like crack of dawn to go and get it. Yeah. So it was the first on the water. And he was sailing super good. He got the best of it. Yeah. I think I was still a little bit lazier than, well, I was lazier than him by about an hour. Yeah. And just kind of got the tail end of it being mega. Yeah, so. yeah. And the next day was like a surfing day, wasn't it? Yeah, we had um, uh, beach clean and yeah. the salmon barbecue. I was Nate, sleeping Nate again. <laughs> I'm sleeping for most of that. Um, and, um, and really good surf at Balavillan. So it was um, like, I don't really know what you'd call it, head high, but it's Balavillan, so you get like random ones here and there. Definitely overhead. I think there were some good overhead ones, ones. Oh, from yeah. what I saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, Proper, yeah. if you just turned up at any given second, like, yeah. Like around head uh, bigger in the sets and then and so typical and everyone was out as well which was really cool and then there was the barbecue at the top of the beach yeah. but typical ball of villain I was like right I'm gonna, I, in my head I was like I'm going to get one more wave and I was sat um, sat like hunting right so that they're left in front of the rock so I was slap, sat just off everyone uh -huh. so I'm going to get one more and I sort of sit down like waiting for waves I look back at the pack and I was just there's a big rip there and I uh, two seconds had passed and I was like 50 meters up <laughs> past everyone else so like kind of paddle back in yeah. sat there waiting for a wave and then that's just the other end of the beach this <laughs> thing is mad that there's really so cool. much current around there isn't it? yeah funny beach but no, it just goes to show like if you do come to Tyree it's like you just get on the water every day if you want to oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. yeah. the only day I had off was because it was that 50 knot uh, northerly day and that's not what was that uh, Saturday Whatever it was, like the mega one, the mega the single, the first oh. half of the single. Oh, because you didn't. I was at the end of the draw. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was quite fun though. And, and I could have sailed then. Yeah. So you could. I've been here a week and a half and yeah. would have sailed every day. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely pretty good. So. Um, yeah, action packed week. Mm. Oh, we had the um, we had the fight. We had the. Uh, Tari food classic in the house. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we. Uh, Interesting judging going on there. Yeah. So, I think we need independent judges next no, year. No, no. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. So you had you on the first day. Yeah, me and Finn. Then we had you and Stan. Uh, me and Stan. I don't know if we covered that bit yet, but we made a bit of a gourmet kind of... Yeah, yours was really good. Um, ...style thing. We thought we absolutely smashed it out of the park, but I had a few hairs on the food. Which, yeah, um, Knock, knocked you back. Yeah, knocked me back a bit. Then we had... Is it Luke and Maddie? Yeah, with a roast. With a roast that was off. That was on the after the that was after the double day. elimination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we had the double elimination. Finished it all. Come back to the house and there's a big roast. So mm. could have been perfect. But. Yeah. And then Julius, after all the stick we gave him, yeah, actually <laughs> smashed it out of the park. Smashed it. Shepherd's pie, wasn't it? Shepherd's pie and a crumble. Apple crumble, like. I get good. Like again, like. I think that was. Well, for me, it was good because we had a bit of a we had a bit of a session in the pub or the house. Yeah. That night, and then yeah. and that then the different. next morning, I was a bit hungover and tired, and that was another lovely meal. Yeah. Nice. So uh, great, great week in the yeah. in the house of, with all the food. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was sick because you cook one day a week. <laughs> And then the rest of the week, you're yeah, treated like absolutely five-star <laughs> royalty. Yeah, um, I've uh, stayed with you for the past, what, how many years? Yeah, we've done the Tyree together. Right. Yeah, I lot. had no idea you could cook that good. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when there's a bit of pressure. Yeah. On. So, <laughs> yeah, we had the, we, ju we were judging every night. I had the judging criteria. Um, scored out of 10. And we revealed revealed the uh, the winner on the on the last night Luke and Maddie took the win yeah well deserved so well yeah deserved very win. well deserved um, bit gutted but oh well yeah you came last 
Yeah. <laughs> I You're know, a fin gamer. I think we, uh, so we were first. So I think people didn't know how high yeah. to set the, the, uh, the scoring. Exactly. Yeah. I think you, you like, I was actually quite like, well, same, like pretty impressed with what you did. And I think everyone was. And then from there, we're like, okay, we have to like yeah, raise go the even further. Mm. And so it was like that the whole week. But if you didn't do that, I probably just would have banged out some yeah, like, that's it. Some sausage, sausage and mash or something like that. Like yeah, yeah, basic. yeah. Basic. <laughs> that's it. It's so true though. Right. It's the same for um, progression and sport in a way, isn't it? Yeah. It took people like a hundred years of trying to do a four minute mile. Yeah. And then as soon as one person did it, like 10 people did it in a year. Yeah. yeah. Because once it's, once it's possible, it's mm. possible. Yeah, exactly. And I, I think our dinner is equally as uh, uh, important as that <laughs> four minute mile. <laughs> set the tone, set the tone. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can't remember. So yeah, we'll, that was good. Uh, oh, we had a bit of a dessert theme, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe seek out the social media for that one yeah or maybe I'll drop them <laughs> I'll drop them over there so okay, yeah. Fair enough. yeah we're a bit childish but um, yeah but there was a running theme that was quite funny yeah there was a running theme <laughs> uh, but yeah we did the food yeah that was pretty much it we did the last night the prize giving that was lovely yeah um, oh we had the expression session uh, yeah yeah As the, and Ams and Masters as well oh yeah Ams and Masters talk a bit on that Ams, um, Connor and Joe. Yeah, they were the final two in that. That was on Friday when it was nuclear windy. Yeah. And uh, that were coming up. Yeah, the youths were ripping. Youths were, I mean, really, really ripping. Mm. Um, I want to say it's been the same. It's probably not exactly the same, but there's been a lot of the same youths for a lot of years now. Yeah. Um, and it's been like actually really cool watching them get like literally better and better to the point where they had the um their the championship one yeah as in the bwa one yeah on that mega day yes and i mean i sailed on a 3-3 and could barely go in a straight line yeah. like yeah. it was howling yeah um, this was on friday, friday wasn't it so the last day yeah, yeah. so them sailing in that is is incredible um, yeah even just the future is really really bright really loads of really good young lads and girls as well yeah um, I think, what was it Tristan was saying, you know, there was a day they were all going for forwards and stuff like that, which is cool. Yeah, yeah. Like just sending it. So cool to see. Mm. Um, hopefully next year, going to be more events. Yeah. That's the talk. So more events all over the country, hopefully more opportunity for everyone, but also some kids because it's hard to get time off school mm. and stuff. So yeah. Um, yeah, and you it'd can, be good to see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can you can see the progression. So the the kids um, are talking about being in the arms. Yeah. Yeah, ideas. totally. Yeah. Um, the top two arms definitely. Um, I say definitely. I don't know if Connor's confirmed it, but like it's just if Connor Connor's watching. Yeah, just. What? Um, <laughs> so the top two arms in the pros, um, the top master in the pros. So like everyone's kind of bumping up, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, which cool. is really good. If not more, yeah. um, I think that there should be more of those ams in the pros as well. To be fair, definitely. No, so yeah, it wrapped off pretty nicely. Mm. Yeah, and then we had at the end of the day, kind of like an expression session. Like a lot of the pros, some of the, and some also the, some yeah, masters, the, youth, everyone. The, I think yeah. everyone was it. The Anyone plan wanted. was top 10 pros mm -hmm. and top three of every other division. Okay, yeah. But I think it was lo it was loosely that. Yeah, yeah, but it was a bit of everyone, but it's good to see a load of people out there. Yeah. Pretty much was just like highest jump score one. Mm. And this was all for like Farrell O'Shea, wasn't it? It was yeah. like the, the Farrell O'Shea, like rock and roll yeah. session. So in honour of him. I don't actually, I never met him. But um, No, I didn't either, no. which is, Sad, I feel like it's yeah. quite unusual that there's two end surfers in the same room, because <laughs> yeah. I felt like everybody else, mm. everybody else did. But yeah, from what I've heard, an absolute legend, so mm. it's good to just go out there, send it, I was on my 3-0 again. Yeah. And uh, 
yeah, it was pretty. I had actually quite a bit of fun up there. It was like some nice ramps you could boost off. So I was just yeah trying to send it. Are you going anything? Going for anything in particular? Uh, I landed some low backies. Yeah. Um, some pretty un well. But that's the thing. Like even to land anything was hard. Oh yeah. If it was windy yeah. as hell. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't think I tried a forward. Yeah. I can't do them high enough for it to count. And to be honest, I just would rather save myself a back. There's some pretty it. mega crashes. Yeah. There's one from Sc- Hannes that was pretty Yeah, solid. brutal. Scotty had that mega one. Yeah. Um, like, huge. It's Wait, windy it. outside. It's it? absolutely <laughs> blowing. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what is weird, though, when it's, like, today, when we've been on the island today, and it's, like, whatever, 60 knots. Yeah. And uh, like you go outside, and it's obviously really windy, but... Yeah. Everything else looks normal, like yeah. you know, like everything just solid, like nothing yeah. moves. Yeah, even <laughs> that the telephone pings. wire. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no one's like in. If you had that down south a bit, oh, it'd be or chaos. even somewhere just anywhere mainland, you'd have bins across the road, all up and down the street. Yeah, can't People's bins are staying still. <laughs> I feel oh, like everything know. built here is just yeah. built for it's these. Built for, yeah. the cows are just still eating grass. Yeah, they don't even care, <laughs> like at all, <laughs> or, or the sheep, or yeah. Yeah, they. Someone was saying that it's not it's not uncommon to get hundred mile an hour yeah. gusts over that's winter, like it. here and there. Yeah. And I think that's what we had at the top of that. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, it was very. Yeah. Day. So yeah, mm. big old that's week, good. great old sick old week. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it wrapped up. Can't think of anything else that we've missed really. No. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much it. Looking forward to next year already. Really. Yeah. It's always a highlight. Highlight for the of the autumn, like yeah. Once end of summer comes around, I'm always like, oh yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. Pyre's coming up soon, so yeah, autumn storms. Yeah, it's a sick one. Pyre. So, so. Uh, yeah, you got any plans after this? Think so. mm-hmm. Uh, not um nothing super interesting, but um, uh, post a bit of work stuff. We'll be having um that event in Aberdeen. Yeah. So that I'm the really BWL looking forward BWL to. BWL yeah. BWL new, yeah, new stop. Um, yeah, first event of next year, mm. um, middle of November in, um, yeah, somewhere in Aberdeen. Um, yeah, so it's this November, but it's next year. officially the next Yeah, it's next year. season. Yeah, next yeah, season, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. all. So we like a month off. Yeah, but, um, so it's pretty close. Yeah. I'll see, I'd like to go to that, but I don't know. It's a long way, and depending on how good the forecast is or whatever. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, definitely, if you're north of England, Scotland, yeah. it's definitely, and it's, yeah, I think it's going to be, I mean, I don't know the details, but I think it's, they want to do like an event that's just fun, everyone will get involved. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I've seen some videos, it looks pretty, uh, pretty good. Yeah, it looks like a good spot. Goes, so. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be cool to see how that pans out. And next year's looking good as well. A few more stops, hopefully. Mm. I'm not going to promise anything, well, I'm not going to, I don't want to. But, yeah, um, like release what's unreleased. Yeah, yeah, but, but I think... At the moment, it's looking exciting. It's looking strong for windsurfing in the UK. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, and yeah, that's it, pretty much. Yeah. End it there, I think. Sick. Yeah, and uh, fingers crossed, we both get on the ferry tomorrow back home. <laughs> yes, God. Hopefully, need it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Not too wavy on the ferry either. That'd be nice. Oh, yeah. It's um twenty to twenty. Well, Surfline says twenty twenty five foot now. Yeah. So it said it's huge. Yeah. Uh, was it a t- oh, overnight I think it was like a twenty eight foot swell of 15, 15 seconds. So it's gonna be a um, rocky ride. Yeah. They're not. Yeah. It's yeah. um breakfast is gonna be a dicey one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll just not eat breakfast. Wait till we're in the. In the good, oh, in the flat bit. In the in between the islands. Yeah, and get some food mold. there. Yeah. yeah so. mm. See you soon. End of that.